friends, it's Miss Allie from the East Cobb Library, part of the Cobb County Public Library System. I'm glad you're joining us for Family Art Time. Today we're going to celebrate one of our favorite authors, Mo Willems. I bet you've read some of his books, maybe some elephant and piggy books or some pigeon books. Did you know that he's won lots of awards for his writing and that he has written over 60 books for kids? That's amazing. So get ready for our story. All right, today we've got The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog by Mo Willems. There's Pigeon. Look who's coming. The duckling. Ooh, look at all those hot dogs. You getting hungry yet? Look at, he sees it. There's a the hot dog. Here he comes. Flap, 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 flap. Ooh, a hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, he's excited. He's dancing around. Oh, look who's sneaking in. May I help you? Scooty, scoot, scoot. Here comes the duckling. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog, said Pigeon. Oh, he's ready to take a great big bite. I have a question. Oh dear. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Mmm. Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration, and a bun. Ooh, he's taking notes. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you really should. Wait a second. Ooh, ooh. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Enjoy. Go ahead. Oh, would you say it tastes like chicken? Hmm. I think Pigeon's getting annoyed. Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. Pigeon's getting a little worked up. So it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That hurt. Oh my goodness, he yelled so loud, the thing fell over. It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. And here is bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I think Pigeon looks a little angry. I think I've got an idea, said Duckling. Oh my goodness, what was Duckling's idea? He cut it in half so they could share it. And Pigeon says, you know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. You know what duckling said? Hmm, needs mustard. And that's the end. <laughs> what a silly one. All right, guys, get your craft supplies out and let's get ready to make something. Okay, friends, you got your craft supplies out? Look what we're going to make. We're going to make finger puppets of duckling and pigeon. So the first thing we're going to do is color them. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to make them look just like in the book. So Pigeon's going to be blue and Duckling's going to be yellow. But you know what? It's your artwork, so you can make it however you want it. If you want to make it totally different colors, that's fine. Do it however you think looks best. But blue is one of my favorite colors, so I'm definitely going to use blue. And I'm using crayons, but if you wanted to, you could use markers. But I do love this turquoise blue crayon. I think it makes a really nice shade. So since the finger puppet, it has a front and a back. Look at that. We're even going to color this part as the back of Pigeon. All right. And it's got an orange beak, I think. I'll use this orange crayon for his beak. Okay, there he's all set. All right. 
So he's colored in. And then I would probably go ahead and use yellow for the duckling. I'm just gonna color a little bit. You know how to color. So you color your duckling too. And once you've got it all colored, then get your scissors and cut out on the dotted line. Look, the picture even shows scissors here to show cut on the dotted line only, okay? The dark, the dark line down the center, the solid line, that's where we're gonna fold it. But let's go ahead and cut. All right, and we'll do the best we can. It's a little hard sometimes getting around the round parts and into these corners, so your grown-up can help you if you'd like. Now, there's no problem with getting help from someone who's got some more experience with cutting. And it just takes practice to get experience with cutting on lines. So just do the best you can. Do you all have a favorite pigeon book? I don't know if I can pick a favorite. I like all of them. But I really do like the one where he wants to drive the bus. That one's pretty hilarious. Can you imagine if a bird was driving a bus? Wouldn't that just be the silliest thing ever? So this book's about a hot dog. Do you guys like hot dogs? Is that one of your favorite foods? It's not really one of mine, honestly, but when I was a child, I did like hot dogs quite a bit. Especially if you got to cook them out a camp out, roast them over the open fire on a stick. That's kind of fun to do. Or maybe you could have them on a grill in the backyard or at a, at a picnic at a park. They are pretty easy for the grown-ups to cook. Hamburgers take a little more work sometimes, but hot dogs are pretty fast to cook. Did you think it was funny that Duckling was asking all those questions to Pigeon? Do you think he was being a little pesty, or was he just curious? Like he said, he's a curious bird, right? Because if you'd never had some food before, you might want to ask questions about it before you ate it. I know I do. If somebody cooks something I've never had before, first thing I ask is, is it spicy? That's what I always want to know. All right, so he's got all cut out on the dotted lines, even on these little ones, because that's how we're going to make it so his wings will stick out. So now we're going to fold it on that center line, the solid line. We'll fold it in half. Okay. All righty. So there he is. He's all folded. There you go. Now, if you wanted to, you could glue these heads together with the glue stick, but you don't have to. All right. Now, this is where you might need a little help from a grown-up because we're making a finger puppet, so you're going to just curve these around and get it to fit your fingers. You might need to cut it a little bit more. I think I'm going to cut mine a little closer. Make sure it'll fit on my finger real well. And you can make it for any of your fingers, your thumb pinky forefinger whichever finger you want so then just wrap it here see his little arrows telling you to wrap it and then just get some tape and tape it together and you know it would be really fun i think after you've got your finger puppet made would be to go and watch the video again where i'm reading the story and then you could act it out you could have pigeon on one hand and duckling on the other and you could do the story would that be fun He's like, oh, it's a hot dog. I'm a curious bird. Uh, can you believe this guy? All right. I think you guys are going to have lots of fun with your finger puppets. I'm so glad you were with us today. Hope you can join us next time. Bye.